it's the first time we've actually managed to get through a whole shift without, without an alarm. You know, we've responded to maybe 200 uh, aftershocks, anything over about 5.5, we look at it. It could have been much worse. Uh, they, did ac they actually did well in Japan. They got their warning out quickly. Uh, however, uh, because the earthquake was so large and the area deformed was so large, um, the tsunami actually, in, in a couple of places, came in before the warning. This was a far larger earthquake than anybody expected for Japan. Um, nobody thought it could have a, a magnitude 9 earthquake. The bottom line is that how large an earthquake you can get really depends on how big a fault you have. And for us, that means that we have to worry about uh, places that we haven't traditionally worried about, such as Tonga, which has never had a magnitude 9. The Marianas has never had a magnitude 9. Central America has never had a magnitude 9. Now we have to consider that possibility. Great earthquakes, such as the one that just happened, they tend to come in clusters. I don't think it's chance that 2011 is only seven years after 2004, because 2004 was the first gigantic earthquake in 40 years, the first one since 1964. And now we have two in, quick, in reasonably quick succession. Back in the 20th century, we had five over a period of about 15 years. So if, if the Earth is working the same way, we have a few more to, to worry about.